Okay, so now we're going to talk about conclusions. This is the last paragraph in an essay, and it also is just like the introduction, like in a hamburger, you know, the introduction, the first top of the bread, and then the conclusion is the bottom bread. So they look the same, they taste the same, they are the same, but certain things are a little different. So like in an introduction, you have the hook and you have a thesis. In the conclusion, you have a restatement of the thesis first and then like an end hook or a way to leave the reader with something to remember. I just like to tell my students it's just like the introduction, just flipped, okay? So I'm going to give you some examples here. If you remember, if you watch the introduction part, um, remember in the intro paragraph, again, you have a hook. It could be a definition, a quotation, a rhetorical question, a dilemma, a description, a fact, something like that. You have some background information or some connecting information connecting the hook to the thesis, which is at the end, which is your point and your opinion about the topic. So imagine you've written your paper, you've developed the body paragraphs, and now you're going to just go and write your conclusion, okay? And let's imagine that you started with a quote, okay? So you can actually end your paper with a quote as an end hook, okay? But of course, before you give your end hook, you need to restate the thesis, okay? Which is what I've highlighted here in yellow, okay? So going back to the intro, the thesis statement example here, let's look at this example introduction. An old Irish proverb states, a good laugh and a long sleep are the best cures in the doctor's book. Although it may not be easy for everyone to get a good night's sleep, this quote resonates with many since they may have felt the negative effects of not having this restful period. For this reason, sleep deprivation is a major contributor to bad health since without it, we are more at risk of depression, of being involved in more accidents, and at developing heart disease. So you got that? You can see we got a hook. That's a quote. We got some connecting information and we have our thesis, which is our opinion about sleep deprivation. So when we end our essay, we can finish by restating that thesis right there in different words and by leaving with an end hook. And a nice way to do it is to, since you started with a quote, you can end with a quote or refer back to the first quote you already mentioned. So look at this example. In the end, Sleep is a good thing, and understanding that without it, we can become depressed, seriously injured, or develop a disease, that famous Irish proverb's point uh, that sleep can be medicine is important, okay? So here I have highlighted my restatement of the thesis. You can see I'm restating my opinion about the topic of sleep, and that without it, we can develop risks for depression, accidents, and disease. I mentioned that. I just use different wording to say it. And then I write here in the same sentence, I referred back to that famous quote that I mentioned, that proverb, okay? So you can kind of see um, how it's similar to an intro. You're just flipping it. You're starting with the thesis and then you're ending with something for the reader to remember. And then I even added something else. Instead of going to the pharmacy to get some sleep aids, focusing on getting sleep and in, in and of itself, we can improve our health. Okay. And remember the example of the intro where you can start with a story as your hook or an anecdote? You can also end your paper with an anecdote, the same anecdote, or refer back to that anecdote. So here, remember, you got to start with your restatement of the thesis. Okay, so for example, in conclusion, sleep is a good thing and understanding that without it, we can become depressed, seriously injured or develop a disease, we can work on avoiding the scenario of staring blankly at the ceiling for hours upon hours. Unlike past lessons I've learned in life, this sad story of sleep deprivation will not repeat itself. You see that? So here, I've restated the thesis, okay, and here I have finished my story that I used in the intro, okay? Remember my story up here was 
here. I'm lying in bed, stars are out. Well, that was a that was a scenario. Here's the story too. Staring in, in bed at the ceiling in the middle of the night, wondering when I'm gonna fall asleep, blah, 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 right? I'm starting that story. And then at the end, I'm referring back to it in my conclusion. Remember, you can also use a rhetorical question in your hook. You can also use a rhetorical question in your end hook in the conclusion. So let's go back to the rhetorical question of our hook in the, in the paper, in the intro. Wouldn't it be nice to decrease your risk of depression, car accidents, and development of heart disease? And then you give the thesis, right? So in the end, you can refer back to that question or you can make up a different question. You don't even have to have a question in the introduction to use a question as your end hook, okay? So here's my, my conclusion. All in all, sleep is a good thing and understanding that without it, we can become depressed, seriously injured to develop a disease, we can avoid major health issues. Now that I know the risk, how could I not do anything about it? There's my, my fun rhetorical question at the end. And here's my restatement of my thesis. Okay. We can also end a, an essay by continuing with the original description or original scenario of something. So if you remember in the intro, uh, I gave an example of a type of hook where I'm describing a scenario or a dilemma and I described not being able to sleep and what it's like lying in bed at night listening to the ice uh, machine the refrigerator making ice um, at the end of my essay I'm gonna go back to that but first I'm gonna restate the thesis in the end sleep is a good thing and understanding that without it we can become depressed seriously injured or develop a disease we can avoid major health issues. So here's my thesis restatement, and here's my end hook. At the end of this day, I'm lying in bed. If I'm lying in bed, staring at the stars and listening to the sound of my refrigerator making ice, I will use that as a reminder to call my doctor to make an appointment for my sleep issues. I'm just going back to that description to finish this paper and leave the reader with something to remember. Finally, another type of end hook is to give a call of action, make a call of action or make a prediction or something. So thesis first, in the end, sleep is a good thing and understanding that without it, we can become depressed, seriously injured or develop a disease. We can avoid major health issues. Okay, and then here I have my end hook. Perhaps this paper helped raise awareness about this important issue, and if so, I urge you to come up with a plan of action. You will feel better about yourself when you see the health improvements, right? I'm just giving a call to action. Why don't you do something about it, okay? And I hope that that video helped you and that it's a, a guide a little bit. You know, those conclusion paragraphs are very small. As you write and as you practice and as you see other people write, you might see longer ones, but really the main elements are restate the thesis statement, and leave the reader with something to remember. That's it. All right.